Hello everyone, and today I want to show you how you can create amazing Gantt charts with the help of ChatGPT. And as you know, a Gantt chart is a great visual tool that helps us in planning, scheduling, and monitoring a project. And as a researcher or student, they'll really help you stay on top of your tasks and monitor your progress. So today I'm going to show you two great, simple, free ways that you can create Gantt charts with ChatGPT. And which one you choose will depend on the style that you prefer. So let's get started with the first way. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is decide what our project's going to look like in terms of start dates, tasks, and duration. So you have two options here. You can either put in your uh, project details yourself, manually enter them, or you can ask uh, ChatGPT to um, create a timeline for you uh, for your project. So I'm going to choose the second option, which is please provide a detailed timeline for my research project. So I've specified here that my project is going to be a research project. You can specify whatever project that you're working on. It could be marketing. It could be launching a product. It could be anything at all. And then you need to specify the dates starting on 1st of February 2024 and ending on March 1st, 2025. Please number each task. This is important as well because we want it in a specific order. For each task, provide the start date and duration. So if you're doing this manually and you're entering the details, make sure that you have that information. You've uh, explicitly written the task and you have the start date of the task and you have the duration of the task. Uh, ensure that each task starts immediately after the previous one and to maintain a continuous workflow. If you have overlap, in your tasks, then you need to show the start dates and um, duration and remove this part so that there's the chat GPT can show uh, the uh, overlap between the tasks. Please do not specify specific end dates for each task, but rather provide the duration in days. This is important as well so that it can enable chat GPT to come up with the right code. So once we've got this prompt, which I'll leave for you in the description, you can then enter the message. Okay, and as you can see, then ChatGPT will start to write down the um, different tasks that we have, their start dates and their duration. So we've got start with the literature review, and this is, starts on February 1st, as I specified in my date. Uh, duration is 30 days, and then formulate research questions. Duration is 10 days, and so on. We've got a total number of 10 tasks here with each of their start dates and their duration. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to paste in this prompt. So I've just put it here and I'll leave it down for you in the description below. And it says using the below code as a sample. And then we've got the code. And then here it says generate a similar Python code for a Gantt chart using Plotly in Google Colab for the new project timeline above, ensuring you follow the correct task order. Now, you could really just use this part of the prompt, which says generate a Python code for a Gantt chart using Plotly in Google Colab for the new project timeline, uh, ensuring the correct task order. But I found that sometimes when you just let ChatGPT create the code without giving it a sample, it sometimes doesn't order the tasks in the correct way. So it would be good to just use this as a sample, just enter that. And you can see that it will start to generate the code for us. And once it's generated the code, what I'm going to do is copy the code. So what we need to do now is to go to Google and we're going to type Google Colab. And once you've done that, it will bring you this Google Colab page. So we're going to click on that. And once you're in the page, you're going to have to sign up. So sign up to Google Colab. And then once you're signed up, it will take you to a page that looks like this. So what you need to do is go to file and then open a new notebook. Okay, so once the page has loaded and you've got a page that looks like this, where it says start coding, we're just going to enter the exact code that we've copied from ChatGPT, trying to not add any other things or spaces or anything. And then where it has this play button, I'm going to run the code. Okay, and once that's done, you will see that you have your lovely looking um, Gantt chart that is ordered with the tasks here, step by step. You can see the timeline below that you've specified, and then you can um, find each one. Uh, you can click on it and you'll get the interactive version to, to see when it's starting and when it's finishing. And um, really a nice looking Gantt chart. Now, if I wanted to 
download this as a ping file, what you need, what you'll need to do is you can see right now, I can't see anything on the screen, but if I hover over um, this section of the uh, web page, I'll see these icons start to appear. And if I go to the camera icon, I can then click on that. Okay, and you can see now that I've got this lovely looking um, Gantt downloaded and that I can insert in my presentations, in my research papers. Okay, so now let's move on to the second way we can create our Gantt charts. And I'm just gonna paste in a slightly different prompt to begin with, which says, I want to create a Gantt chart for my research project. Then the project must be completed in six months. Again, I'm gonna specify the start dates. It will start from 1st of uh, May, 2024 to 1st of October. Um, create a table with the main phases of the project, specific tasks, duration, and start date. Okay, and then I'm gonna enter that. Okay, and it's also given us some uh, notes. So you could ask ChatGPT to create that for you, or if you wanted to, you could create this uh, table yourself and then enter it into ChatGPT and then ask it for the next step. So the next step we're going to is ask ChatGPT to give us the, the mermaid code for this. Okay, and I'm going to enter that as well. Okay, now we've got the mermaid code. Again, we're going to copy the code and then head over to Google. We've used this tool before in a previous video, and it's the mermaid live editor. So I'm going to click on that. And once you're on the main page, okay, you'll find in here sample diagrams. If it doesn't open uh, automatically, you'll click on the Gantt. Okay, and that should take you to an area here where you can uh, paste the code that we've gotten from ChatGPT. So I'm just going to delete what we have here already and then paste the new code. Okay, and what you'll see now is that the, um, the Gantt chart has been created and you can see that we've got the different phases. So we've got the define the research questions phase and then we've got the literature review, develop methodology and so on. Now, Personally, I prefer the previous Gantt chart and the way that it looks, but this one is a very easy way to create a Gantt chart as well. And you can uh, play around with it by prompting ChatGPT to change uh, the different tasks, the timings and so on. And so in order for us to download this, what we'll do is we'll go to actions and then you can download this as a pink file. So if I click here and download, Okay, and then I'll open that and you can see that I've got my uh, project timeline. And um, as I again mentioned in a previous video when we were creating sequence diagrams, um, I prefer to use the SVG download because what, what that does is just gives me a much clearer view of the, um, of the diagram, or in this case in the, the Gantt chart. So you can see here my Gantt chart and the different phases. So like I said, I prefer the first uh, one that we created. But this one I find is a lot simpler just because that the code is very straightforward, whereas the Python code sometimes um, with the previous one sometimes does not give us the output that we want and we have to play around with it um, a bit. So let me know in the comments which Gantt chart you preferred and if you have a go uh, creating them, how you uh, found your output. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.